burbler. He's in his element. <laughs> it's just like nature. It's what we're all about. Wagons ho! <laughs> Have a look at that! That's when they think it's safe to come out. I guess in the end, that's probably why we all go fishing. Another beautiful day has dawned on King Island, and that is in the middle of Bass Strait, south of Victoria and north of Tasmania. And here is Narra Cooper. Now it's on the eastern seaboard, and believe it, don't go looking at me like that. This is Rod Fisher. That's right, fishing rod, fisher man. And I tell you what, you're a local, and you just love this joint, don't you? It's a beautiful place, right? Beautiful. Why, why is it such an attractive place for you as an angler? such a diverse array of coastline and opportunity to fish so many different species, so many different sort of areas. Due to the fact of the island, if wind's coming in from one way, then we've got the opportunity, we'll go around to the other side of the island, get a nice bit of shelter, and away we go. So, so no matter where the weather's coming from, there's always a windward and there's always a lee, and I tell you what, that is just sensational. Now, today, you've made a big effort, you and the crew, to put something together for us, and what have you got? Well, hopefully, Rex, we're going to go up here around the corner into Fraser Bluff. There's a nice deep channel there in about 19, 20 metres of water. We'll have a few little drifts through there and see how we go. We're going to get a few gummy shark, a few snapper, a few flathead out there as well. So I reckon that's the first point of call. Well, it sounds like bread and butter fish, and that's what we're all about, because everyone can do this. You can come down here and you can drift for gummies and you can drift for snapper and you can catch the humble flathead, which is still one of my favourite eating fish. Rexy and Rod Fisher. Yeah, I'm serious. It'll be a fantastic day. Reef, mate. Some sort of parrotfish, I reckon, because he took me under the reef. Come on. Come on. Yep, we come. It is a blue throat wrasse, or what a lot of people call just a blue throat or a blue throat parrotfish. Now, these are an interesting species. Now, they're a member of the tusfish family. And irrespective of what people tell you, these are very, very good eating. Now, you see me catch bald chin groper, and he actually took both hooks. I took the top hook out, and I took the bottom hook out. And that bottom hook is well and truly in you. And these particular fish are just all power. Have a look at those teeth, and that is where they get the name parrotfish. Where they get the name blue throat, is obvious. He is as slippery as a slide. I'll just put him back there and away he goes. Absolutely beautiful. And what they do is they live in little caves and they can back into them and then when a prey goes past they go like that. Or just in an afternoon they might feel like a snack and they just go bang and get on the side of the reef. Yeah, we've got a flathead here, Rick. Good. Lift him in. Well, he's a nice fish. He is a nice fish. Now, I tell you what, that's, uh, that's 700 grams of beautiful flathead, a beautiful eating fish. Sand flathead, he loves that particular rubble that uh, Rodney has put us over here. And just stop kicking, mate. We might just roll you over on your stomach and tickle you. And just grab him like that. That's the way to grab a flathead. Let mum or dad show you, and then you can just Lift that out of there. Look at that, look at those spines. Now, 
he is the master of disguise. He can get down there and just blend in with the rubble. And they are like a Murray cod. They look very, very docile, but when a feed comes around, they're like me, folks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him to Rod, and Rod can fix him up because he's going back and is in the frying pan. And I tell you what, I'm a very, very docile fella. And I know that I'm watching this at home as we speak. And I've said to Lynn, oh, there's someone at the door. So she's at the front door now because I knew when it was coming up. And it's just like me. I'm a little bit docile. And I tell you what, at 8 o'clock in the morning, King Island Bakery. Lamingtons, low fat, no cholesterol. Bang. Well, there's about 19 metres of water were under us. And a pilchard and a bit of squid. And I tell you what, it's a normal lucky dip. That noise you can hear is that new super line going through and you can just pick up every kick on the tail. I reckon this might be a gurnard. And we have to have a little bit of education here, folks, because the gurnard, you've seen these at Flinders Island with Jim Luddington. And Michael is going to just show you right around the whole perimeter of that beast that that is a no-no. You don't even touch it. If you want to get it the hook out, make sure that it's worth it because I can tell you now, if you get stung by that, you will experience some excruciating pain. There's no doubt about that. Now, they're a member of the scorpion fish family and, uh, you know, other types of fish like cobblers and that I've caught as a young kid. But believe it or not, the ugliest fish in the sea can be the most beautiful to eat. And the firm white flesh of the gurnet is fantastic. But the old gurnet, he's the old vacuum cleaner of the sea, he'll grab anything. Just like this bloke grabbed a piece of squid. Nice and quiet day for me. Usually, you know, there's yelling and screaming and all excitement, but it's a real bottom bouncing day. Just, you never know what you get on the lucky dip. And I tell you what, the old narrow Cooper Pier, have a look at it. The sad thing is, they're going to pull it down, but the legend has it that three quarters of a million dollars needs to be spent to make it into just a tourism thing so a bloke can dangle a fishing rod on the end of it. Well, the economics and the sums just don't add up, folks. So, bass straight. Flathead, gurnard, blue-throated parrotfish. A lucky dip, folks. Not a bad place to pass the time of day when you've got nothing else on your plate.